Now in this section of our demo, we're going to add a task module to the bot. So let's update the hero card to add a button um, that the user can select. So in our bot file, let's go back to our project and find our bot file, which is inside of server. There it is right here. I need to locate the constructor where we can see, here's our constructor right here. Um, and I need to up locate our switch statement uh, and specifically the default statement that for the pat inside of our on message handler where that's actually writing back uh, learn Microsoft Teams. So let's make a change to this uh, hero card um, to where in this array, we're gonna pass in an object. And the object we're gonna pass in, it has a type property called in, with a value of invoke. It's gonna have a title, which is watch task oriented interactions in Microsoft Teams with messaging extensions, that's the name of our video. And then the next one is, our uh, next value is our value, which will also be a type task fetch. Task module is a player. And the video ID that we're passing in is A-H-O-R-K-8-C-R. So now let's see how this works. So let's come back over here to our, uh, we can see in their terminal or our, our console that everything is running. Let's go back and try our bot out again. So this time we'll just say hello to. So notice the new card that showed up when we sent the, a different message back or just our hello to message back. This actually returned a card back to us. Uh, the bot framework is now looking for messages of type invoke with their value.type property set to task fetch, which you saw that in the code. Once it, uh, for each one that it finds, it's gonna pass it into a handler, the handle teams task module fetch method to handle what happens when you select the action uh, and uh, then it, what you want, you're gonna wanna have it go implement the method. So we can see it showing up. Now let's go back to our bot and let's actually implement that handler. So I'm gonna come over here and add in a new handler This is our handle teams task module fetch. Now, once, our, once it runs, when it receives it uh, coming back, the response coming back, where we can see our task module is player. Notice here, it's looking for the request that the bot framework gets for the player. So it should respond back with this video. And you see it's using the video ID that was passed in right here. So let's go test this out. So now I'm gonna try uh, enter in another message. Hello again. The bot should respond. And now if I select this, you can see that the bot framework got the request. It's not finding the video because it's probably a video that's now been uh, deleted since I, I grabbed the ID. But we can see our player is running and it is actually showing uh, the, the task module player card that we had created. So let's go change this again. So let's go back to our code and let's create a few more buttons. So where our card is being defined, up here, we're going to actually go ahead and add in a few uh, different cards here. So we can see here we have one for watch uh, this video or watch this video, or we have an invalid action uh, that'll run as well. So let's see how this comes back. So I'm going to go back over to our code or to our to teams. We'll type in another message and we should get a couple buttons back. There we go. So we have one to launch our video for this task oriented messages. Uh, we have another one for watch Teams Embedded uh, Web Experiences. Yep, so there's a totally different video that just showed up. And then we have this invalid action, which it doesn't know what this is for. That's where we got that uh, kind of a bogus response there. So the next step is to add a task module that is gonna actually submit data back to the bot and the bot can respond to it. Now, in this section of the demo, we're gonna add an action to the hero card that displays the task module using an adaptive card. Uh, the task module will submit the data back to the bot that will use the value to display the specified video in the, player's, uh, in the player task module. So in the bot files, let's go back to our bot and we're gonna add another card, uh, another action to the very end of this. So I'll go ahead and add a comma and then we'll add in one more. So you can see here, this one is using invoke and then it's also passing in fetch with a task module of selector and a different video ID. 
So what I need to do is I need to chain two task modules together. The first one's gonna display the adaptive card selector, what we just added. Um, and I'm gonna do that using that, that existing Teams Handler task fat, fetch module. Um, and so to do this, to chain these together or to actually add in a new selector we want, we wanna use the selector uh, task module that we defined in the previous demo. So I'm gonna add that in right before the default and so you see here that we're going to use the same kind of setup that we have up here, but this one, um, I'm going to be getting the selector adaptive card. Um, and that's the adaptive card that we defined in our previous demo. So now I need to add in another method to go fetch that adaptive card. All right, so there's our get adaptive card passing in the video, and now we have a totally different card that's being uh, generated here. This is a very programmatic way of creating the exact same adaptive card experience that you saw from the previous demos. Now I wanna add a handler for our adaptive card um, handler method. So similar to that task fetch um, that we did earlier, when we need to handle a submit from the uh, task module uh, with the bot framework, I need to uh, handle another um, process called, or another type called task submit. So I'm gonna do this by adding in uh, the following method. So notice that before I had this method called uh, task module fetch, and that was responding to when I had the type task fetch, as you see here. So now what I want to do is I want to add in another one of these handlers, but this handler is going to be for the submit action. So this will be task slash submit. And so that's what you're seeing right here. So this one is going to take the video ID and it's going to display the player. So Step one is going to be to show our, um, to collect the ID from the user of the video they want to watch. And then the second one is going to be to uh, display the video that was actually selected. So let's grab a video ID. So here's the uh, Microsoft Teams web experiences. Let's just grab this video ID so we can actually see this work correctly. I'm going to come back over here to Teams and let's do this one more time. And here we can say watch a specific video. So the first time I select this, it's gonna prompt me for what video you wanna watch. So we'll put in an ID and then I'll say update. This is gonna be sent back to the bot and the bot framework is then gonna send back to Microsoft Teams uh, the instructions to launch the task module uh, for our player to show the video that we specified. So in this demo, you learned how to use task modules with bots in Microsoft Teams. We saw how to create and add it to an existing Teams app. Um, then how to extend uh, the app to have support for bots and how bots can interact with task modules as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. Now remember that this video is part of a series of videos on this Microsoft Learning module. This video is also part of a playlist that includes all the videos that are associated with this module so that you can watch them in order. The playlist and all its included videos are associated with a Microsoft Learning module that includes hands-on lab exercises and additional resources. Check the notes for this video and the associated playlist for more information and where to find the Microsoft Learning module.